water. It's essential for physical life. It makes up more than 60% of our bodies and about 70% of the Earth's surface. We simply could not live without it. Neither can we live without water in our spiritual lives. Each year on January 6th, the Armenian Church celebrates the Theophany of Jesus Christ. Theophany comes from the Greek word Theophania, meaning appearance of God. This feast day celebrates both the birth and the baptism of Jesus Christ. In Armenian, we call it Surtsununt Yev Asvadza Haidnutun, meaning holy birth and revelation of God. The mystery of Christ's baptism is remembered through a service we call Churortnik, or blessing of water. The Gospels tell us the story of Christ entering the waters of the Jordan River, the heavens tearing open, and the Holy Spirit descending on him like a dove. The Father's voice is heard from the heaven saying, This is my Son, the Beloved. With him I am well pleased. This moment in scripture is vastly important because the divinity of Christ is explicitly confirmed by the Father. In short, the blessing of water service celebrates the presence of the Holy Trinity as it was revealed on the day of Christ's baptism. The priest acknowledges the Father by pouring the water in the shape of a cross three times over the basin, reciting Psalm 29, the voice of the Lord is upon the waters and the God of glory thundered. The Lord himself is upon many waters. To symbolize Christ entering the waters of the Jordan River, the priest takes a cross and plunges it into a large basin of water. Then he takes the cross out of the water and hands it to the Godfather of the cross, who holds Christ tenderly on behalf of the whole church. Finally, to signify the Holy Spirit, he tilts a dove-shaped container filled with holy muron over the basin of the water so that a few drops of oil drips in. So why was Christ baptized? And what does this service mean for us today? It comes down to this. Christ is not cleansed by the water. Christ himself cleanses the waters, redeeming them with his divinity. We can thus enter into divine life through the cleansing waters of our baptism. St. Basil puts this concept so beautifully in his prayer that the priest recites as he blesses the water. Today, the earth is honored to become a new heaven. The Son of God appears on earth to walk among men. Today, he comes to the river Jordan to cleanse the waters and enlighten mankind. Today, God has manifested himself on earth. The entire world is full of his glory. The blessing of water service is not only a remembrance of Christ's baptism. It is a call to us to remember our own baptism and its promise of new life.